Tonight, in the coming weeks, golf carts could legally operate on some village of Swamico roads. Chris Schuler explains this is the goal of the village board after telling staff to start reviewing a draft ordinance. In Moose Creek Trail subdivision, a different four wheeled vehicle could soon travel these roads thanks to the efforts of Erica Kentop and a petition signed by over 100 of her neighbors. We had 97% of people that we went door to door that signed. I think it was a 112 of 115 people signed. That petition requested that golf carts be allowed for transportation in her neighborhood. And it was a great way to drive by and be able to wave to your neighbors and say hi. The idea passed the village's safety committee. And last week, the full board voted to have an ordinance drafted for further consideration. The village board is now possibly entertaining a ordinance that would make it legal in, in this subdivision to have a golf cart. This ordinance is just for golf carts. No ATVs, no UTVs allowed, and the carts can only operate on very specific streets. This ordinance, as drafted, would be specific only to this subdivision. Under the plan, you'd need to be at least 16 years old with a driver's license to use a golf cart, which would need to be registered with the village. Proof of insurance would be required, and the carts could only operate between sunrise and sunset. The golf cart's going to have to follow the rules of the road just like any other vehicle. Kanker says other communities allow golf carts on roads like Pulaski and Two Rivers, and now Swamico is giving it serious thought. For the most part, they're agreeable to the concept. Uh, obviously, safety is a concern of everyone. A concern of Ken Tops as well, who promises people here will follow the rules. We're really going to be huge on making sure we do things the right way. All right. In Swamico, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. The ordinance needs to pass two readings by the Swamico board, and the first is scheduled for August 3rd.